Now, I'm thinking about that time in Atlanta, though, man, because like I say, that was a special time where the music was changing and the culture was changing and the city was bubbling to a point to where it was about to be on fire like hell for the next 20 years, man. Oh, yeah. What was it like sparking those movements during them times? Did y'all feel like this city right here was going to be the hip-hop mecca by the time y'all got done doing what the hell y'all was doing? We just knew we was doing trap music. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody else was doing what they was doing, but our music was nothing like theirs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it felt like we, 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 we were offering a uh, more diversified representation for the town. Yeah. So whether that would lead to it becoming the Mecca or not, mm -hmm. at least people who outside of the town would be able to look at the town and yeah. understand that there's a, a, a different representation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, navigating the streets at the same time just in hip hop. Being a team and then, you know, having altercations and stuff with folks. Mm -hmm. What was that like just huh. trying to stay alive inside of the game at the same time? Come on, this cat? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then how many times did y'all say this nigga keep on getting that transition, man? Yeah. It's hard to make that transition, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that that industry, the industry, the industry in the street. Yeah. Trying to separate the two. Talk to me. I think no. Clay helped balance out a lot of that stuff. Uh, really? no, I, Clay, do. Yes, Clay, I do. Clay I, actually I like was that. a ticking time bomb. He knew how to channel our energy, though. <laughs> yeah. He knew what to direct us at. Like, all right, y'all like this. All right, so we're going to go take all these CDs then, y'all. Come on. We finna go get our stuff yeah. out the street. We finna go do this. Yeah. We finna go do that. He, yeah. he directed our energy. You yeah. see what I'm saying? The yeah. way it needed to be. Okay, if y'all go here, ooh, get on stage at this place. Do this. Do that. Ooh, Come on. he had mm -hmm. us. Now, mind you, you, mind you, at first, really, the most all altercations came from our denial of entry into clubs. Mm, right. That's really what it was, because you know they... in that thing. Yeah, you know they be playing all kinds of games, like, who is you? I don't know who you is, yeah. and so on and so forth. Yeah. And a lot of those guys, we, like, you know, we just don't say, hey, man, where you from, bro? Yeah. No. And a lot of those cats were from out of town. Yeah. Oh, and then they from it. here, and you can't tell us that we can't get it. I tell you what. If we don't party, won't nobody party. Yeah. And so a lot of that, we kind of gained the name for ourselves, you know, just forcing our way into clubs. Exactly. Uh, and the other stuff came a little and later. sparring with security yeah. multiple <laughs> times. Yeah. Getting like the sparring. Yeah. I mean, so we got Van Damme over here. Yeah. That's what we were doing. It's the truth. That's the truth, man. That's, that's Van Honey Bake Ham. It's the truth, man. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Y'all know he tell jokes. Leave him alone. Stop, man. It's born, man. It's too nah, but, he, but, but he is telling the truth. Cause we, done, we, done, we done got to him. We, we so super like, cool with security yeah. for the most part around the city from Sparn. And Come it became on. to the point where they say, hey, man, just let these guys in. Yeah, okay. period. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And some end up working for us. And right. I also want to say, these are not things that we're speaking of because, you know, like we proud of them. Yeah. But, you know, these just a historical fact. Historical facts. facts. Yeah, that, that, that kind of led to us getting to a place where we realize it's time to evolve and change our lives. Exactly. When y'all running around town, though, Tip, and you getting into it with niggas and the pimp squad is with you, how many times did the fella say, hey, man, maybe we don't need to be cutting up today. Let's just go ahead and go and cool out, or was it just always go time? A afterward. It was always. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's definitely, if it's on, it's on, man. Yeah. Ain't, no, ain't no stopping that, bro. Stop. You know what okay. I mean? Just ain't no stopping it. I wish it was, but it wasn't at yeah. the time. <laughs> You know, now that we're older, of course yeah. we're more rational. It was the king of the but, South thing. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that really what it was. You know what I'm saying? It really was the king of the South thing. And, you know, but what people don't understand is uh, I let everybody else know it's okay to be king. Yeah. Because prior to king of the South, all you had was Mystical, who called himself the prince of the, the prince, South. Yeah. So, that was, so it was like there was an invisible boundary there. Mm. All I did. Was walk past the invisible boundary. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So we're like, who do you think you are walking past this invisible limitation that we've set for ourselves? Yeah, yeah. And all I did was just say, it's okay to call yourself king. I didn't say I was the only king. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just said that this is how I feel about myself. And if you felt this way about yourself, then you would have said it too. My God. <laughs> <laughs>